Hey guys, I'm Aaron with PhoneDog.com, and mark my words, you heard it here first. Two years from now, the feature phone will not exist anymore. The feature phone will be replaced by low-end Android devices, and a perfect example is the T-Mobile Comet. It came in today, it's available from T-Mobile for $9.99, so it puts it right in that price range of the feature phones and heck, even the low-end phones. I mean, the lowest of the low-end. You know, no QWERTY keyboard, no nothing. It's definitely a competitor, and it's one of the first low-end Android devices to hit a nationwide carrier. Special thanks to our friends at T-Mobile for hooking us up with a review unit, and of course, special thanks to our friends at Best Buy Mobile for hooking us up with not one, but two T-Mobile comments for use in our one-paw banded giveaway. You know one thing I like about Best Buy Mobile? You walk out working. You go in and you get something like the T-Mobile comment for mom. She walks in with you, has no idea how to set up her email. Best Buy Mobile takes care of you. They, walk, they, get, they set up your email, they do internet, they do it all. And you can walk out working. Hence the name. But enough of that. T-Mobile comment unboxing starts right now. Okay, here's the comment with T-Mobile. And like I said in the intro, you know, I'm a firm believer that within two years, these are going to be our feature phones. These low-end Android devices, uh, perhaps some low-end uh, devices from some of the competing manufacturers or operating system makers, if you will. But uh, this is where it's going to be. And outside of those basic devices for grandpa or, you know, a, an older family member, this is where it's at. So, you know, interesting to see T-Mobile jumping into that game right now. Comments available from T-Mobile for $9.99 uh, on a two-year agreement. Let's see what's inside. The phone, battery and charger, micro SD card, data cable, uh, start guide, terms and conditions, all that good stuff. You can see on the back it's running Android 2.2, 3 megapixel camera, 3G capable. Uh, hey, that's exciting. Real web browsing with Wi-Fi and stereo Bluetooth. So, you know, for a low-end device, the features are pretty, are pretty useful and uh, not bad at all. So let's take a look, unbox this. And there it is, the Comet. Now, again, you know, the PR people activate these and throw SIM cards in, so... Uh, it's been activated already and opened. There's the device. Instruction manual is in the little pouch here. Get a start guide, terms and conditions and such. Safety and warranty information. And then here is the charger. That is a big honking charger. Uh, or AC adapter module, rather, with uh, USB there. Micro USB uh, cable, which doubles up as the uh, charging cable there. Nothing else in the box. Throw all this back in. I should do that later. And uh, turn this on. Now, you know, it's a low end Android device, so, you know, it's lightweight, uh, not a lot of substance to it. And the screen's rather small, uh, 2.8 inches, if I remember right. But it is a capacitive touch screen. So, you know, again, for a low end device, especially when 69.99 messaging phones are still using resistive touch screens, this is a nice upgrade, and the price is right. So, let's have a look here. It's still powering on. You can see. Left side volume rocker, nothing on the right side, micro USB charging port on the bottom, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the top, and your 3 megapixel camera on the back. Now those are, uh, that's holes for the speaker phone, there is no flash on this device, it is uh, just the camera. Capacitive buttons on the bottom, back, menu, home, and search, and then uh, send and end keys along with a, uh, with a navigation, with a four-way navigation toggle at the bottom so it's still powering on it really wants you to know that you should stick together if you're with T-Mobile it's just holding there so you know okay let's have a look you know the screen low quality screen but still decent for uh, given what this device is Android 2.2 and it's a relatively you know vanilla version of Android 2.2 and uh, look I already have a voicemail on this one too I am important wow uh, five home screens traditional Android 2.2 setup and uh, once it decides to move there we go uh, we'll go from there you can see I mean it's it's laggy it's definitely laggy in comparison to you know a device like the MyTouch 4G or some other high-end device but uh, decent low-end phone now that it's loaded it seems like it's moving a little bit quicker let's have a look at the apps uh, FM radios on there. My account, my device, T-Mobile apps that they're installing on everything now. Uh, it is. It does have Android 2.2, so the news and weather widget comes installed. Swipe is also pre-installed on this device, which is a nice perk for people that use that on a regular basis. And Telenav for GPS. You know, that said, Telenav is a, it requires a monthly fee. Google Maps is on this device. I think Google Maps is better, and it's free. But uh, that's your call. 
for those that purchase the device. Uh, let's have a look real quick at the web browser. I just want to see, you know, this uh, again, very small display. I'd like to see what the web browsing looks like on it. Let's go to, and there's the swipe keyboard, as you can see. I'm not a swipe person, so I'm going to jump back to the Android keyboard, and we'll type in phone dog. Come on, phone dog. Now you can see, I mean, tiny, tiny keys in comparison. So, you know, for those people that don't use swipe, you may want to learn because these keys are small in portrait mode at least. Phone dog. Dot com and we'll see you know it gets 3G device so decent speeds there it's nice that it's not edge that's a perk out of the box but just to show you know a, a, a graphic a more graphic website like phone dog with a lot of pictures this is what it's going to look like on this device now it's loading now and there's our news Let's see here. Interesting. No pinch to zoom on this device. Yeah, no pinch to zoom on this device. Your zoom in, zoom out buttons are on the bottom if you're interested in doing that. But, you know, definitely, definitely irritating there, especially if you're coming from an Android device and you want a low-end device on T-Mobile coming from another carrier or something like that. No pinch to zoom. So, Frustrating. Then again, for people that are coming from a feature phone to a smartphone or their first smartphone with the uh, with this device, you know, definitely, definitely an upgrade. So it's all based on perspective. It all depends on where you're coming from. Totally dependent on that. Much more coverage to come on the T-Mobile Comet with PhoneDog.com. It's available now, as I said, from T-Mobile for $9.99 on a two-year agreement. But we'll have reviews, videos, traditional phone dog style. All the content you can imagine. In the meantime, be sure to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash phone dog. Hey, you know, we're a cool group of people. We have editor chats. And be sure to check out our 100 iPad Super Bowl giveaway. It's running right now. Be sure to get your entries in. Who knows? You can win an iPad or even the grand prize tickets to the Super Bowl. Be sure to follow me on Twitter as well, phone dog underscore Aaron, with any of the devices that are being unboxed today and any general questions that you have. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.